So the one big thing with this GoGo -Go launch is make sure once you get to that, that spot and you get connection, like I'm not trying to launch him from here, right? That's all a lot of you trying to just kick him over and because your training partner's nice, they fell over for you. You know, when it's live and they're putting pressure on you, you're not gonna be able to kick him over from here. It's not gonna work. You're gonna spend a lot of energy and just get smashed and then you're gonna go, oh, I don't have it, I'm gonna let go of it, I'm gonna just go back to guard, <laughs> right? So when you get here, you got to use this pressure in their neck. You know, point that toe, push them, and come up on your elbow and start pushing them over to make them make that decision. If they decide not to pose, you just come all the way through, right? Almost 90% of the time, they're going to push back. They're going to pose and they're going to drive back into you because they don't want to be taken over. You know, so then we, you know, hit that launch and we come up and we finish there, right? So. You know, but don't forget to build up to then have the momentum to sweep them. You know, or you're gonna be like, this sweep doesn't work. You know, and it's not that it doesn't work, it's you didn't have the right leverage to make it work, right? Cool. All right, so now um, we're gonna talk about some troubleshooting at, at different spots in this that are gonna show up. Um, and what we're gonna do with that, with those things, right? So we're gonna talk about from all the way at the end, when I get to the go-go pod of the things that they're going to do um, and how we're going to counter that and then we'll work back step by step and talk about the things they're going to do to counter and we'll deal with that and we'll take it all the way at the end. I, I hope we can get to um, an, an entry into this from standing, right? So we can take it all the way from the beginning of the match, slap, bump, I can get control, I can sit, I can go right to rubber guard, go right through this whole sequence and get the kill, right? Cool. So, Max. <laughs> First up, I made it all the way to my go go pod position, right? I'm here. As I get to this spot, one of the first things that's going to happen is he doesn't like this. So he starts reaching and yeah, trying to peel this rip off. So when he goes to peel this rip off, he's almost always going to get his hand on top and push my foot down, right? This is the, the play almost every time. So when he does this, I'm just going to take this hand underneath. Right? I'm bringing my elbow into my knee, and I just grab his wrist. Right? Now his hand can't go anywhere. The direction of the weakness of his grip is towards the floor. That's perfect. I just point my toes down. Now he doesn't have my leg anymore. Now I put my foot under his arm. Right? So this is called the straight jacket, because my leg's underneath his head. If my leg was over his head, it's position we call the stocks, and we'll talk about that too. But we're in this straight jacket position. So I can finish a straight jacket from the bottom, but again, like the go-go plata, I don't have gravity on my side, right? So I can do the same thing here. I can launch him with this. I start to push him a little bit, and I kick him over. Right? I have even more leverage to push him. For the finish, good? Okay, I'm gonna have to start grabbing him. Push him over, okay. When I land here and I already have this, right? I mean, look, I'm leaning heavy on this arm because I don't want him to get this arm through. I go to his elbow here, right? And I start to pull this in, and then I straighten my leg, and we can get a tap there. You know, I can come up and tighten this up and use my other leg to push this in even more, right? And I can get the tap as well, right? This is the straight way I can finish, right? So, and I can also, because I'm already in this position, if I'm having any trouble, there's some people with really skinny ass arms and they don't get choked by this, you know? And I can't find the finish point, I'm like, okay, this is whatever. I can just swim under here, get a shotgun grip on his elbow, pull this in, mm. lock this up, and then now I finish the yeah. bar. <sighs> Nasty. <laughs> right? So, right. like, this is why like, rubber guard is just such a dangerous place for him to be in. You know, we want to take advantage, right? So. Again, we come in, I clear, get to this, he starts reaching up for that toe, right? So I'm just coming under, connect the knee, or elbow to knee, and then I can grab his wrist, right? Now I just drop my foot. He can't keep control. I can even reach over and grab his elbow for an extra pull to get my foot underneath, right? Now I have his entire upper body, right? So I can just sit up a little bit, and this is gonna be enough momentum to sweep him. Now I can pull this in and straighten. I can bring this out and push it with my knee, right? Or I can swim under shotgun grip, grab that elbow, 
pull your elbow in tight, and we finish this on bar. Okay? We got that knee seeking. You good? Let's do it. Three, two, one. For some reason, when I get there and I get to that spot, he reaches up, grabs my foot, and I hesitate to get to my spot, and he actually is able to bring my foot out and over. If I'll push it down, and they'll pull it back over their head so they don't have to deal with it, right? So, so I get to all of this, I get in here, he pushes it back overhead. I do the same thing. I catch his wrist, put my foot in his armpit. Now we're in what's called the stop. Right? If you think of the old Western, they put the head in and they have the arms in and you're all locked up. That's why this is called the socks. I have all this control over it. All right, we're back to the same kind of control. So I can lean forward, kick him over. This time I pull his elbow behind his head as I extend and just tap the shoulder lock on the far side. All right? I can come up and control that as I go back to that arm here. If I really want to be mean, I can bring this behind his head and I can do the, the thigh master. Oh. It's called two things, yeah. Right? So, when you're grabbing the wrist and pulling. Yeah, when we come over, so you catch it's two things, you know, so, and then we're working through this whole process. This is the finish for the stops, right? And then you have the thigh master, and then you have the straight, you know, the straight on, right? <coughs> Yeah. Right? Should be an easy one because it's basically the same as what we just did, right? So we're coming out. I clear over. This time he pushes it over. I grab his wrist. Right? I was a little slow on catching him, getting my foot, but I still was able to catch the wrist. Boom, foot back into the armpit. Right? And grab the control, lean and kick. Right? <clears throat> I pull and I extend my leg at the same time. It separates his shoulder. Right? This leg can come behind his head. I cross my ankles, lift up towards the ceiling for the neck crank. Right? And then we still have the same arm bar we were just doing. Right? When you're coming through and you're catching the hand and the wrist, mm -hmm. are you digging and lifting two legs at all to build momentum, or are you just racing just nice and slow like right? methodical time? So when I go to catch the arm, yeah, when you go to hook for your uh, stop. So, yeah. so when you push this back over. Right here. So, when are I you here? Yeah, see, you're just lacing. I'm you're just going along and lacing. Yeah. Do you ever just like lift? To catch? To catch, because now when you drop your hips. Right. Yeah, so you typically. Do that or no? yes. So, in this case, because his arm's up high, because he's pushing, he's bringing my foot over, I usually don't have to. I can just stick it in. Right? But in the case of like, I play meat hook and I'll push him and he'll post. And then in this case, I will come up and hook to get okay. the stocks. <clears throat> right? Yes, sir. Because it's a little further away. So I will come up and hook that way. And now I have all that momentum to come back with and finish. Right? But okay. usually in this case, because his arm's already up so high, like I can just break the grip and slide my foot right in his armpit. Like, and I don't have to have all your shoulders in the front instead of having to lift. Yeah. And I didn't know if there was like uh, a way that you were just on the whole thing or if it was, uh, you know, like it's because his arm's high, it makes it easy. You know, sure. So that makes sense. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And in all of these, all of these positions, right? So <laughs> once we get here, we clear over, he pushes it back over, right? And I catch here. With all of these positions, I can also roll him this way. Right? So we're launching him this way, but I could just as easily come up and roll him this way. Right? We end up in the same spot. Yeah, so it kind of depends on what you, you know, what you like and what is part of your game. If you're already coming up, if you have to come up to catch the stocks, then just keep going over. Right? There's no sense in falling back unless he just drives back into you, but you already have both his arms up. So I can just keep going instead of having to go, stop, come back. Right. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. So if it if it becomes one of those things where when he pushes this back over and I catch this, like if I can't catch it here, I'm I'm really long. It's easy for me to feed stuff in, right? And if you're not as long, you may have to come up to catch this. If that's the case, then I'm just going to keep driving over the top, and we end up in the same spot. Make 
make sense? There's a sick triangle there too. There's there's a lot of nasty stuff you can do to people from that spot. Yeah. So, right? You need to see it all again? Got it? Let's do it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Get into the stops. Nothing? So real quick, I want to go over something because I saw a couple of people doing this. And just realize when I get to this spot, all right, and I clear and I come under. The first spot was he grabs my foot and I catch it here, right? And we go straight jacket, right? That's what we did first, right? So if I'm able to connect to his wrist right in this spot, I'm going, I can go straight jacket. If you, anybody in here is a big fan of the carny, the carny is also right here. <laughs> right? So you also have that option. But the second one, I didn't get here in time. He's pushing it over his head. But notice how I don't go chasing his hand through space. I know where his hand's going to end up. It's on my foot. So when he brings it over his head, it's going to be here. Right? So when I'm here and he goes over, I'm not chasing his hand trying to catch it out in space, right? I go to where it's gonna end up. As he pushes it over, it's right there. So I got back ahead of him. If I'm chasing him, I'm behind, right? And if I'm behind, I'm gonna stay behind until I figure out a way to beat him to his next spot. Well, I already know where he's going, right? This is the play. He's gotta push it over his head and that's where it's gonna end up. Mm. It's right there. I don't even have to look at it because I know where my foot is. Now I'm back in, right? So just make sure you're not chasing appendages around. Like you're gonna just keep chasing them and you're gonna end up behind, right? So <clears throat> now we're gonna back this up even more. So we had, I got all the way to the go-go uh, plata position. He pushed, we got straight jacket. This time he pushed it over his head. Well, this time before I even clear his head, right? I'm starting to come here. The next big play from here is, yeah, is he's like, I'm gonna bail on this position and start to create a scramble. So he starts to come out. As he comes out, I'm switching to the omoplata. As I do that, I immediately try to sit up and grab his far hip, and I'm bringing both of my legs out, right? As I make this turn, I'm bringing my feet to the outside. I am fully expecting that if he is doing this, he plans to roll, because he's trying to create a scramble on the way out. Right? So as he starts to come out, I'm gonna catch his wrist and I want my thigh in his elbow, not on his shoulder. This is gonna be huge in a minute for a reason, right? I wanna be here. And now as he starts to roll, I'm slowing this roll and I start to lean in. As I lean in, it opens the space for my hand to come right here to the top of his thigh. Now I'm gonna suck this elbow in and push with this hand. And now I slide my chest up to his face and I'm in twister side, right? Most of the time he's been pushed away, he's gonna turn into me. All right, I know where he's gonna go, right? It's gonna lead us down this whole road. So, I got to here and he starts to make this scramble, right? As he scrambles, I'm still clearing his head. Right, but it's super easy as he's escaping. There's all kinds of space. I'm sitting up and grabbing this hip as soon as I can. And I've got to stay crunched on this arm. Don't play like this, now you can just pull his arm out. Right, this has to stay tight. My feet come to the outside. I move my thigh from his shoulder to his elbow. All right, and we're here. I know he's gonna to start to hit this roll. That's fine, I do it. He rolls, I slide to his knees, keep this control, I start to lean, this hand comes in, pushes his legs across, I open this up, and I'm here. He's gonna bring this in, if you like the ninja roll, that's where your ninja roll is. All right? But the big thing is knowing he's gonna force that omoplata roll. He's trying to find a way to get back ahead. He knows he's way behind, and he's about to get killed. So he's trying to run away, create a scramble, and get at least back to a neutral position. So he's trying to run, roll, come out, and at least be back to a neutral and start trying to pass again, right? <laughs> so we made it here, I come here, he starts to go, I clear, sit up, grab this, I come out, pressure in the elbow, that drops his head, 
He starts to roll, we catch here. I push across. He turns in, awesome. As you're, um, as you're going for that omoplata, mm -hmm. if he's not trying to roll, uh, if, if the battle there is getting your leg out, because uh, I, I happen to get my leg stick, uh, stuck there a, a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great question. Okay. So, <clears throat> so you just do the same thing, right? So if your bottom leg's getting stuck down here yeah. as you're trying to come out, right? right? You just got to push with this foot. Mm. Okay. And that clears your leg. So right. be mean, got it. Be mean. <laughs> so, I have a question. Yep. Um, I like curling and finishing on the plow here. Yep. Oh, wow. When you pull your legs all the way out from him, it's, it's forcing the roll. It's literally giving him the roll. Or is that what you're wanting him to do? Yes, because what I'm trying to stop is if I'm on his shoulder, he can posture so, up. Yeah. Right. So and then now I have to have an answer for this, which is fine, because I have answers for that too. Right. And we come in and start finding different games. To the legs. When, he, when you're pulling your legs out, <clears throat> could you? Well, I don't. I don't this isn't one of the things that I do, but I was just saying it. Yeah. When you're bringing your legs, could you just straighten your legs under his chin and keep his head from rolling mm -hmm. and curling and force his face flat? Possibly. Right, but I'm going on. So, but <laughs> when it's live, what typically happens yeah. is as soon as I get here, he's just like, nope, gone on the ocean, right? Yeah. And I gotta get to here. I'm just scrambling to get to a position of control at that point, right? If he goes slow, yeah, I might be able to catch that. But usually, once they already know they're bailing, like they're like full steam ahead, get me out of here, right? They go yeah, white belt spasmo. Yeah. Right. yeah. Like it's full on white belt spasmo, get me out, right? <laughs> so, you know, and that's why, like, I want to come out and hit this so I force him to go this way so I know where he's going. If I'm here, he has two options. I don't want him to have two options. I want him to have one option, right? <laughs> now I know where he's going, right? Now he's going to roll. Now I slow, push, control. Now we can go to the kill, right? So, cool. I was just curious because it looks like you're just bringing your legs right by that and you just straighten your legs, making it flat. Yeah. Girl. Yeah, now if it's one of those situations where you're playing rubber guard and he's not running away, right? And I clear and I'm like, well, I didn't clear it under his chin. Well, now's maybe a good time to play my Omoplata game so I'm going to start pushing him away and now I can curl stuff in, you know, and get back to like a, a Carney Hazlet right. situation or whatever. Right? But in this case, because they, they they started to feel that pressure and they're like, nope. Yeah, they are yeah. <laughs> out of here. Right? Yeah. It's like those guys, the moment, you know, like uh, go mount on me. You know, like you get them here and you get this bump and you go here and they just run. And they're like, nope. <laughs> they're like, you know, it's the same kind of deal where they're like, no, nope, I know what's happening. Just run away, run away, run away. You know? It's the same thing. They're like, no, I don't like this. I'm just going to go right to the, you know, right to the, uh, right to that omoplata roll and try to get out that way. Yes, right? Okay. Can you see it again? Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> so this part's all the same, right? I get to here. He decides he's bailing. So I sit up, grab that hip, and my legs come out to that elbow right away. And I'm here. Right? I force that roll. I catch the knees. I'm pushing, I want to be close to his knee here, not his hip. The knee is the end of the lever for the hip. If I want his hips to turn, it's, it's a lot harder to push here and make him turn than it is here to make him turn, right? And we're just like this. And I want to bring my ribs right up on his face and establish this good twister side control, right? Most of the time here, because I'm pushing him away, he's going to at least try to square up Right? That's your moment if you want to mount and do all that. Because I know he's going to swear up. Because your instinct is he's pushing me away for a reason. Fight it. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> and when they fight it, they give you the mountain entry, or if they fight it all the way, they give you the, uh, the ninja roll. You know, so you have those options, right? But at least work on getting all the way to that almost water roll to that twister side. That's the most important part, right? Cool. Let's do it. If you want.